Now, moving on, the United States has announced new sanctions on Russia over its alleged interference in America's 2016 presidential election and in cyber attacks. The sanctions were announced by the U.S. Treasury Department. They target several entities, including Russia's Federal Security Service. The U.S. has also sanctioned 19 Russian individuals and several groups, including 13 people who were charged by uh, charged in February by special counsel Robert Mueller over the 2016 presidential vote. The Treasury Department says the sanctions are aimed at countering Russia's, quote, destabilizing activities. The Kremlin has vowed to hit back. Russia's deputy foreign minister, Sergei Rybakov, says Moscow is preparing retaliatory measures. He says the Trump administration timed the sanctions to come ahead of this weekend's presidential elections in Russia. The U.S. intelligence agencies claim Russia interfered in the 2016 presidential campaign using hacking and propaganda. Moscow has strongly denied these accusations. Now to discuss that further, we are joined by Mr. Jason Unruh, a political commentator. I hope that I have pronounced your name correctly, sir, if I have not. Uh, I very sorry. Uh, how do you think the Russia, what are the retaliatory measures that Russia can take and how far do you think the United States is going to take this uh, campaign? Well, I think Russia imports a great deal from the United States. They could use a significant uh, uh, amount of goods, uh, largely commodity goods, not anything tremendously, terribly spectacular. Uh, these uh, sanctions that they have been placed against Russia are not, uh, many Democrats are claiming that they do not go far enough. They're not particularly damaging. Uh, most notably that these new uh, the punishments that are being placed against Russia are against intelligence agencies and don't particularly target any of the, you know, really the major industries within the, within the country. It's almost like this seems like a pre precursor to something much greater. I mean, Russia does import from the U.S. just, to, you know, basically the same kind of trade that everybody carries with everybody else. But it, it, it's it's interesting to note that uh, Russia has adamantly denied these accusations that they've been involved in any kind of hacking of U.S. infrastructure. And as per usual with the U.S. playbook, uh, we haven't seen any evidence of these attacks whatsoever. They're basically just blanket claims by the U.S. with no evidence beyond them uh, at all. And this, th these new retaliatory measures against Russia for these alleged hackings could possibly spiral into something much greater, like a trade war. As it is right now, Donald Trump is already carrying out uh, kinds of uh, trade trade irregularities, things that break from the norms that have already been going on with the 25% tariff on steel and, and 10 on aluminum. But I could just definitely see that if this is pushed against Russia anymore, that it could escalate into something bigger. But we should also understand that this comes at the same time that the UK has put uh, sanctions are pro prohibited on purchases of uh, liquefied natural gas that comes out of Russia. Now, while this is only a small amount of what the UK actually uh, imports, which is about three to five percent. It's a little bit more significant for Russia. So I, I think that these are not coincidentally timed to attack Russia, as the uh, uh, particularly in my view, as the last of the remaining pro-Western forces inside of Syria are coming to an end, and it seems very clear that Russia is going to maintain a dominant influence inside the country. Mm -hmm. uh, now, sir, a quick note on uh, how do you see the future of U.S.-Russia relations considering all this? Oh, I definitely think that this is going to get much worse. I mean, we have two powers in the world right now that are jockeying for position or global, you know, spheres of influence. As it is right now, Russia and both Russia and China are rising to compete with the United States for global influence. And I think that a lot of these measures are just meant to attack Russia to try to weaken its position. So I think that we're definitely going to see more of them in the future. It's going to be very interesting to see how it plays out. For Donald Trump to attack Russia for alleged election interference, he would be admitting that it happened. But if he doesn't do it, he would be uh, seen as weak. It's kind of a very strange position that he's in right now. And even then, uh, the question as to what interference Russia carried on the election is 
uh, uh, frankly, some of it is very, very questionable. But I think that in the future, there's definitely going to be more coming from the United States as Russia rises to greater influence in uh, various regions throughout the world. Thank you very much. That was Mr. Jason Anarua, the political commentator, joining us. Your insights are always welcome on Press TV. Thank you very much, sir.